Amidst storms, Kira, Dennis, Ellen and George, groundsmen and women up and down the country have had their work cut out and ensuring games go ahead. Modern technology development has made pitch maintenance a lot more of a science over the years. Head groundsman Paul Knowles let me in on some of his secrets and hard work that goes on behind the scenes. So what challenges have you faced with the storms, Kira and Dennis, oh, most God, recently? Yeah. Stadium not blowing away is a challenge in itself, but no. It's trying to get the work done in front of the storm. So if, if, for instance, we had a game and we're worried about the condition of the pitch, we'd spike the pitch a day or two before just to get loads of holes in it so the water travels through quicker. Our main priority is to get the game played. So if, like, so if we see something coming, sort of being proactive rather than seeing what happens when it comes, you always want to be one step ahead. The minimum football pitch dimensions are 90 by 45 metres, meaning there are slight differences at certain grounds. Wembley Stadium is as big as 105 by 69 metres, whereas Queen's Park Rangers maintain just 93 by 60 metres. The pitch at the PTS Academy Stadium is 105 by 69 metres. Plenty of room for skipper Charlie Goode's iconic diagonal balls. Seasonal climate influences Paul's job enormously to use a range of products. Right, so over this side, the shed, um, we just saw the spring summer fertiliser. So we're, we're going to feed the pitch this Wednesday. We were going to do it today, but there's a slight frost forecast tonight. We might, might get a bit of scorch. So Wednesday we'll feed the pitch and then just water it in. But the spring summer fertiliser is slightly higher in nitrogen, so it'll green the grass up and try and thicken it up because the grass is quite dormant at the moment after a long winter. We want to try and get it going again, try and thicken the pitch up because it's quite thin at the moment. So there's enough here just to get the pitch through the summer. So each time we feed, it'll be about 12, 13 bags. So that's all covered there. Um, over this side was all the winter, winter fertiliser. Winter fertiliser is high in potassium, just hardens the leaf up a little bit. Um, it's getting kicked to pieces in the winter, the pitch isn't growing, so it's important that everything you do have there is as strong as possible. Believe it or not, a routine mow turns out to be a six mile walk. Relentless work from these unsung heroes.